Hi folks, welcome to WTW Science with Dr. G. It's been a long time. I know it's National Science Week and I've been busy with learners from Clifton College. Um, you've got schools like Evergreen Primary. This morning I was at the Durban Christian uh, Center School and that was an awesome time launching those water rockets, especially in the wind. That was like really dangerous stuff, but it was cool stuff. And I was early in the week at Highbury Prep, and I think I did mention Sasby College. So thank you for being part of National Science Week and making science so awesome. So today I just want to look at a very simple concept, and that is of pressure. You know, we have adults, our teachers, our parents, all complaining about them being under pressure. What does that mean? Okay? And you've also had a look at some of these cans, for instance, a paint can. And you have these little flames here. And also here on a deodorant can, it says, do not throw into open flame. Do not puncture when even empty contents under pressure. Okay, so you can imagine putting a flame to one of these cans. The pressure is going to increase on the inside. And this can could explode. And that's going to be very, very dangerous. And you've also seen some very simple experiments. You know, we've got here a little glass of water like this. Well, this is a plastic glass and uh, a giant playing card. How cool is this one? Okay, and because of a difference in pressure, you know, we have pressure due to the atmosphere, then we have a vapor pressure over here. I'm just going to invert this card and just place that over there. So we have quite a large mass of water there being pulled downwards by gravity and then just that little card supporting all that mass or what we call the weight. So due to the pressure difference on the inside and the outside, we have this simple, beautiful experiment. All right, so now we're talking about increasing the pressure inside a can or a closed vessel. What about decreasing the pressure? What would happen to the can or a vessel if the pressure inside was suddenly decreased? Okay, so what I have here is just a, a Coke can. Of course, you must drink lots of water right? so as opposed to all the sugary stuff and in the can I am gonna throw in about 20 mils of water to give you, uh, to give you an idea of what 20 mils of water is it's about two tablespoons of water pop that into the can very quickly like this just one and there's another one here now this is the dangerous part of the experiment and I always tell you and I think you need to know this and that is never ever do an experiment by yourself make sure there's someone around and when there's an open flame, make sure you have a fire extinguisher, fire retardant material, material around you, okay? And try to do this outdoors as possible, except for today it was really windy and I just couldn't sh wait to shoot this video. So uh, let's try and get this um, going. So I'm just gonna light this up very quickly. And then we're going to bring this up to a boil. So what you'll notice is we wanna get a steam going up there so what's happening inside is that little water starts to boil it's pushing out as it produces the steam it's pushing out uh, the water I can actually hear that boiling if you bring that close to that and uh, ordinarily we'd use a glove I'll explain why I'm not going to use a glove shortly so it's producing a head of steam that's filling up the can expelling all that air out so you have a column of, uh, of steam suspended inside that can and what I'm going to do now is dunk that can into some cold water. What do you think is going to happen? Will the can explode? And remember, it's open at the top, so you can actually see that steam popping up there. So very quickly, I'm just going to go using these tongs and just grab the This you're going to be very, very careful of, with. So just grab that very gently, and then I'm just going to... Whoa! Okay, that was pretty awesome. Have a look at that. I mean... That can did not explode. It was an implosion. Absolutely amazing. Why do you think that actually happened? All right, so you had that column of steam sitting on the inside, put that into cold water, and that steam condenses, forming what we call a partial vacuum, much lower pressure inside that can. Atmospheric pressure on the outside is much higher. Boom, the can just collapsed. Absolutely amazing. Don't you think? Okay, so we're back again. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I mean, that pop was an actually amazing, amazing sound. So I'm thinking, um, so a lot of people, I've seen this um, on several YouTube videos, and they said that the boiling basically eliminates the air from the can. It pushes the air out. 
and so reducing the pressure inside the can and that's the reason why the can would collapse but it's mainly the steam so I want to test that uh, my hypothesis and then what if I took some liquid nitrogen that's my favorite liquid by the way remember liquid nitrogen there we go and then have a look at that you know all the properties of liquid nitrogen if you watch some of our videos and stuff like that so I'm gonna take some of the liquid nitrogen I'm gonna pop that into the can and you know what's going to happen there? The nitrogen is going to boil because the can is very warm. So the thinking is it should expel the air. And if I invert that into the water, will that can actually implode? And if it doesn't, ah, then it's going to tell me something. Let's have a go at that. So some liquid nitrogen into the can very quickly. You should be using gloves on this one here. Safety first at all times. Goggles as well. Closed shoes. So have a look at that. As I said, that nitrogen is boiling, boiling, and it's expelling, expelling the air from inside the can. You can actually hear that. The can is so, so cold, okay? And what if I took this right now and inverted that can in cold water? Would it explode or would it implode? Let's have a look and see. Yo! So let's do that very slowly. I'm just so excited here. I googled this and I couldn't find anything. The cameraman is shaking there because we don't know the results. And here we go. One, two, three, invert. What is this? Bring it closer, bring it closer. Have a look at that. No implosion, no explosion. Just the nitrogen from the inside has now entered the water and created these little bubbles. So the can is pretty safe. Nothing much, actually, nothing much has happened in the can. So what it tells me, is that little theory, is that for the can that collapsed, is actually the suspension of the steam molecules inside the can. When that cools down, converts to liquid, the pressure is quickly reduced inside the can, and hence the atmosphere just crushes the can. With the liquid nitrogen, although the air is expelled from the can, you still have vapor inside there, enough pressure to maintain an equilibrium between the inside pressure and the outside pressure. That is so awesome. Have a look at the nitrogen over here. It's still bubbling away. So while we have the nitrogen, ah, oh, this is amazing. Let's try and draw that out on the top there like this. Absolutely amazing. That is not nitrogen, by the way. The white vapor that you see there is actually a real cloud. And have a look at the nitrogen just boil away on the surface there. One should not stick your hand into the nitrogen there. You will get injured. But this is so sweet. So hopefully, folks, you've found this video quite amazing. Now think about this very carefully. This is a 330 mil can. Is that 330? Yes, 330 mil can. Uh, we could extend this to uh, a 5 litre drum. And wait for this. We are going to do an experiment. And hopefully you can join us in collapsing a 210 litre drum just using the atmosphere. Watch the space for details.